Hello everyone. This is Purnima Padmanabhan and I'm here with Stephen Elliott from IDC. Hi. Nice to be here. Thank you. Multi-cloud has become a reality. Every enterprise and every customer that I speak with has minimum one on-prem plus multiple public clouds. Of course, it gives us velocity. If it gives us the ability to innovate faster, but with that also comes complexity. So the first question is: How? What kinds of challenges are you seeing customers face in this new era? Yes, we're seeing a couple key challenges. Uh, first and foremost, as this complexity continues to increase, the organizational constructs and the processes attached to each of these unique cloud architectures are extremely hard to manage. And so we're seeing the, the organizations create new titles, such as observability engineers or DevOps engineers, platform operations teams, site reliability engineers, and really having um, to manage through the roles and responsibilities, as well as understanding the unique capabilities of each of these cloud architectures. So the processes that tied to each one also are intersecting more and more and causing a lot of complexity to manage. The other piece, the technology side uh, continues to get complex as we're seeing the need to manage traditional private cloud architectures and these emerging public cloud architectures, more and more the, the importance of security, of governance, of orchestration, of service delivery, uh, these things, cost management, all of these things have to be um, precisely you know, executed to drive a, a great business outcome. So it seems like with all this complexity, one of the key needs is uh, to be able to have common skill sets that can be applied across all these disciplines. And there is a need for standardization. That is what we are investing from a cloud management perspective at VMware. Irrespective of on-prem or native public clouds, how can we give standardized disciplines across cost, performance, security, and automation so that customers can easily manage the complexity. And that is what we are delivering to. Now, with these types of solutions in the market, how do you see customers benefiting from them? Yeah, it's a great question. We, we've seen a number of IT organizations really look at this idea of standardization, of, of thinking about how integration, common data models, applying analytics to these common data models, how they drive great business outcomes. And there's a couple of things that stand out. Number one, uh, team and cost optimization. Uh, there's no doubt that the productivity of teams goes way up as they all work off a common data set and a common data, a common set of tools. Number two is this whole notion of standardization, which drives a higher return on investment from these different cloud architectures, because you're really reducing the complexity of not only the tool chains, but you're also enabling uh, more automated processes across teams as well as uh, a common language and a common data set that everyone can agree to that that's accurate and that that's going to drive the right business outcome. So it, it really is all um, coming together and we're seeing more organizations really understand that when you standardize and when you drive um, uh, tighter collaboration, really great outcomes can be not only faster, but you really drive a more proactive posture across these teams. That's fantastic. So now the last question, where should customers start? Yes, yeah, so we, we do a number of advisory sessions on this and, and there's a couple key points. Number one, cost optimization. I can't tell you how many organizations realize I need to know who's using what and where my spend is going across the various cloud architectures. So cost transparency, cost optimization, a great starting point. Number two, security. As, as software defined infrastructures, as virtual networking, as companies look at their software development life cycles and CICD, um, really understanding how security can be put in front of that software de delivery life cycle and how operations teams and security and development teams can all work together to drive a better security posture. And then the final one is, is really about system reliability. We're seeing that um, the technology architecture has become the business architecture for almost every client. And now, especially in the time of COVID, we've seen CEOs understand that if my digital services aren't working, my customers are going elsewhere. Now that is fantastic. So Stephen, we have a huge opportunity to drive significant value um, to our customers in this new era. 
with our multi-cloud and cross-cloud services that bring standardization uh, when it comes to management of cost, security, performance, that drives common automation, that allows for common modern app development platforms across these various environments. Uh, we hope to change the landscape. Thank you for the conversation. Thank you, it's great to be here.